Welcome back folks to another episode of Firewood Doctor. Today I want to talk about the size of splits that come off of that 12-way wedge. Uh, you can see the size of my hand, it covers it. It's a nice good chunk of wood for general all-around firewood. You can see from the shape. This is another example. Uh, it depends on how it shears and pushes through the wedge, which direction it wants to go. And this one has a knot, so it really sheared. So some of that's responsible for a lot of that debris. And then off of the 12-way wedge, I get this size of wood. Basically kindling, depending on the size of the chunk, you know. And then everything in between. Some of this is off of the 4-way wedge. Oh, most of this is off of the 4-way wedge. Maybe a third of it is off of the 12-way. You can't tell. Unless you see another piece like this that came off of the center of the 12-way. Uh, yeah, the um, split size is not bad. Uh, the 12-way wedge, yeah, that thing flies through the wood like there's no tomorrow when you have the right size uh, wood. But as you saw in the last video, there's a massive amount of debris. Massive amount that comes from the shearing and... Uh, and this is also old oak that I was splitting, so that may have made a difference. Uh, Greenwood, it might not uh, get the uh, debris as bad. Might not shear as easily. Might stick together. But for general all-around firewood, that 12-way wedge does make decent-sized firewood. Now, it can go bundle-sized. Uh, these pieces... Uh, those, the big, the center pieces are a little big for bundle size, but that wedge, even that 12-way wedge will go down to about, take a piece like this off the bottom, you know, like two inches or something. It, it goes down pretty low. Uh, I'm going to experiment with the, uh, the wedge height to see how well it does uh, for making bundle wood. And uh, I do a little experiment when I have time to do that. So that would be in a future video. Uh, other things that are going on, yeah, I got, you know, poss uh, I got to get going on getting that cherry cut because I could probably sell that by the, yeah. if I had a dump trail, I could sell it by the cord easily right now. People are starting to look for firewood, um, uh, more so than, you know, they did all, all year because, you know, they get a cold snap, they think they're going to freeze to death. No, I stole that line from Chris at in the woodyard. <laughs> yeah, but it makes for good sales when you want to get a supply of logs in before the ground freezes or you have the cash on hand to get the logs in after the ground freezes, which is better because the logs don't sink into the ground because the ground's frozen. So uh, that works out better. But, uh, yeah, other thoughts on that 12-way wedge, uh, the wedge particular wedges i'm going to go with the four-way wedge most of the time unless i have that perfect wood that 12 to 12 to 14 i think is ideal for me may you know on either side of 14 so 12 to 16 uh perfect wood uh, anything else I, I wouldn't bother with that wedge i'm going to go with four-way all the way because then you can control the splits and the shearing a lot better i won't know uh, the debris difference until I do a, a run with only the four-way wedge, which will be the next time I run the splitter. And that will be possibly uh, in a week week or so, uh, depending on how the order of the videos and what I filmed that day. And if I got a bunch of deliveries, I'll be running deliveries. So, yeah, it's, things are picking up here in uh, this time of year. And yeah, as much inventory as I got, most of this is going to be gone in the next uh, couple of weeks, especially when I fill that big order. Most of this stacked wood here is going to be gone. If you have any uh, further questions or comments on that 12-way wedge, uh, let me know and I'll try to do an experiment on uh, running the wedge with size of wood just to see uh, the debris. When I ran it the first time, I was just shoving that wood through as fast as it could go. So I wasn't 
paying too particular attention to the splintering and all that. So uh, I'll next time I get a run of wood, I'll make sure I have the area clean under the splitter. Run a, a log through. Yeah, that that's a good idea. I'll run a. I'll do a couple of splits like a shifty did at or Dan, otherwise known as Dan at uh, Back 40 Firewood. I'll run the 12-way versus the 4-way wedge and see what kind of debris I have uh, left over. So yeah, next time I get out here, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. So yeah, the next video might be uh, after this and it'll be, you know, filmed a week later. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do that 12-way versus 4-way and how much debris comes off of it. So yeah, I'm only going to need a a few rounds to really uh, make a difference. And it's going to be from the same log, so to give it as uh, fair of a uh, comparison as possible. So watch so uh, watch for that one uh, in uh, two or three days after this video. So yeah, until, uh, or, you know, or it could be a week. You know, it'll be within a week. Uh, I got a lot of uh, other work to do, so we'll, we'll see. I got deliver. I got uh, four more deliveries to make to that one customer. Then I got uh, who knows restocking to do. So yeah, within a week of this video, you'll see the uh, comparison of the debris of the two. Yeah, the two way wedge. Yeah, that's called single wedge, four way and the twelve way. All right, now the real. Till next time, folks. Take care. Get out there. Do something. But have fun doing it.